Hey guys, I want to welcome you to Module 2. Module 2 is all about residential and commercial wiring. Now, to kind of explain this a little bit deeper, what is residential and what is commercial wiring? Um, when I'm talking about residential and commercial wiring, it may mean something to other people, is I'm talking about working with items like this. We're going to be talking about light switches, ceiling fans, light bulbs, outlets, plugs like this. 124 or 120 volts um, is kind of the main area that we're going to be working here in module two. We are going to touch a little bit on 240 volts. We're going to do like a plug-in. We're going to talk about that it, it hooks up to stuff like your, your dryer. It's going to hook up stuff like your, your stove. It also might be used for like an industrial welder, um, but we're not going to do a heck of a lot with 100 or 240 volts. Now, this is not the, the end of the different types of voltages that are out there because potentially you could go work at an industrial site and it could be 480 volts. But for this purpose of this class, we're going to kind of keep it residential. We're going to, kind of, we're going to build some circuits with some, some two-way light switches. We're going to build a circuit that does just outlets. And then we're going to work on some light circuits, OK? All right, so let's dive a little bit deeper into what is 120 volts. We're going to be working with 120 volts AC. It's not typical to see DC going up that high. Now, there is certain applications in some of the older factories where they used to have DC motors, and they would use um, transformers and uh, rectifiers and stuff like that to make that DC that they needed. It's not very typical anymore. I don't know of a heck of a lot of places, but you also do see it a lot with um, on like PLCs and things like that for inputs and outputs. Um, but for what we're going to be doing with this in this basic electrical class, we're not going to really touch on it a heck of a lot. Um, I know we've kind of explained it, but we're not going to be working with it a, a whole lot. So um, big thing I want to point out with 120 volts is the wire colors. So wire can pretty much be whatever color. It doesn't it doesn't change the wire any bit. The only real change that you're going to see in wiring is bigger or smaller. And that just changes the amount of amps that can run through that wire. Okay? Now, with what we're going to be doing, or on any most any residential house or something like that, that you're plug, doing lights or plugs, you're only going to be working with 12-gauge um, or 14-gauge, which is how wires are measured. They're measured off of their gauge. That's how thick the actual copper is inside of there. So, and typically, the larger the number, in, or the sorry the smaller the number being like a one or a two is actually indicating a very big wire so like I said this is a 12 gauge right here um, you could typically use 12 or 14 okay so one thing I want to point out is the wire colors like I said so there's gonna be four colors in any 124 volt or 120 volt circuit now I shouldn't say any 120 volt circuit because this red one's not always typical. So let's just put that one down for a second and let's talk about these three here. Okay, so I got a little bit closer. I want to make sure you could see this. But so there's going to be a white, a black, and this bare copper wire. The, sometimes this bare one is green. So let's go ahead and we'll start with the black one. So your black is your hot. This is going to be the 120 volts coming in to your circuit. Now, the neutral, or the white one, is going to be your neutral, or possibly called your common. Now, this one, this positive, is trying to get to this one over here. And I don't want to say, I'm sorry, the power, or the hot wire, the energy is trying to come over to this white wire, okay? Now, because this is inside of a residential house, and there's wood, and there's all sorts of hazards that could be lit on fire, they have you install this ground. Now, the ground is the actual earth ground. So there's something that's going to actually be driven into the dirt that's causing that electricity to go to if something happened bad. All right. So technically, if you did take your multimeter and you test it from this one to this one, you're still going to have 120 volts. But we really want to be using this to connect all the energy. And this one is to use, used to do bonding. And it's to make sure that your, all your part, components are safe. So that's kind of the indicate or the basics of 120. Typically, you're only going to be using these three if it's going to be like an outlet or outlet circuit or something like that. Now the red one right here comes in anytime you need to be switching between something. So let's say you do a circuit where you need you need four wires to do a um, like a hallway switch where there's a light or, or switch at either end of a hallway. So then they add this red one in here so that we can run the power through that. I'm not going to get into what the red one does too much because you're actually going to build a circuit and you're going to see why you need this red one. But just know, typically, you, you'll, you'll, get a, you'll either have a wire that's set up like this, or you'll have one that's set up like this. For this class, we're going to do individual wires, and we're going to work 
each one of them and so we can make sure we learn how to connect them correctly. All right, so I just wanted to uh, dig a little bit deeper into these plugins. Um, that way when we go, we move forward, we're gonna go ahead and be wiring these and I figured let's just take a second and get a little bit deeper in. And I know what you're thinking right now, man, that Michael guy, he could sure draw. Well, I can uh, give you guys lessons on the side if you need to, but this is the best I can do for right now. So um, the reason I've drawn these things up here is because they'd be just a little bit hard to see. And uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at our, uh, our 110 plug. So this is our 110 plug right here. Um, notice it looks, we've got the bigger prong on the right side here, little on the left, and then the round one on the bottom, okay? So, and then you can see that the uh, male side is exactly the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to connect the wire colors to this specific plug, all right? So the first thing we're gonna talk about is gonna be our ground. And we're gonna go ahead and we're, gonna just, we're just gonna go over here and we'll draw our ground. And I'm gonna go ahead and write ground. Ground right there. And now remember this one is that stake that goes into the ground. It's actually going into the ground. Um, these things would be like a big old copper stake. And I believe all buildings actually have these things or have some sort of grounding ability that they've, they've actually been engineered to have, okay? So the next thing we're gonna point out, we're gonna talk about these bigger, um, these bigger terminals. And you can see these, these two are bigger. This would be my 100 or 240 volt plug. And we're gonna talk about that one in a second. But this one's a little bit bigger. And the little bit bigger one would be for that common. Now we're, we don't have a white marker because this is a white board. So we're gonna use red, all right? And I hope that doesn't screw a lot of people up. So we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and drop this down. And we're gonna write common here, so. All right, hopefully you guys can read that or be, be taking notes of this right now. Now, the smaller terminal here would be for our hot and it's gonna be a black wire like we had pointed out before. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna write hot. All right, so that kind of, this is kind of the explanation for doing 120 volts. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this and kind of talk about our 240 here. I'm not sure if you've, uh, you've seen these plugs laying around. These are um, just like the 120 volts, except they're kind, of, they're kind of like a monster version. And these are the, the 240, okay? Now I believe 240 actually has about th two or three different styles Typically, this is the one you're gonna see in a household. This will be the one that's behind your stove or possibly the one that'll be behind your dryer, right? Those other two styles are more for like an industrial setting. And we're gonna kinda, we'll, you'll see them around the shop. We're not gonna have you wire any here, um, but you'll see them around, okay? So let's get back to it. Now 240 is kind of an interesting combination here, is this terminal and this terminal have 120 volts on it. Together, we end up with the 240, okay? So now this is kind of cool. We're gonna go ahead and we'll start with this, the other big prong here. The, this big prong actually has 120 volts on it and it actually is a red wire. So hopefully, again, I didn't mess you guys up too much with that common wire over there. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll, we'll just go ahead and uh, bring this one out and we're, oops. And we'll go ahead and just put 120 volts, okay? Ooh, that looks like an R, Jesus. <laughs> Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and this one over here could be considered our black hot if you'd like. Typically they don't get into naming them like they do with 120 volts, but you could call it your hot if you'd like. They're both technically hots though. And we're gonna come up here and we'll write 120 volts. All right, now again, this round plug or round terminal is just like this terminal over here and it's your ground, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we'll just come over here and we will write ground. All right. So that kind of explains how these terminals are connected to the wires. Again, we're gonna go through and we're gonna have a whole video explaining how to actually connect these guys up. But I just wanted you to get a good, a good visual of what this thing is, all right? Um, moving forward, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually have a video explaining wire colors as it applies to each thing. Like remember I had said before, um, some DC stuff is in PLCs. Well, those are typically colored, I think blue or something like that. Um, sometimes when you get into like the 480 volts, there the wire coloring is again a little bit different, okay? So it's not, it's not drastically different. Mainly 120 and 240 is really where the wires matter. As you get into those other areas, it's kind of depicted by 
whatever your company d decides. They kind of say, oh, they want this color to be that or something like that. So, um, but that kind of concludes our basic um, conversation on the wire colors. Please, if you are confused or don't totally understand what I'm talking about here, come and talk to me um, and I'll try to explain it a little bit more.